Back four or five months ago, when most of my time was spent doing weird stuff in this game, I never even gave Itemless a thought. The only thing we never broke was Freddy's room when you start the game, and not a single person had ever escaped his room without picking up the Faz watch, which is an item, so challenge over. This may surprise you, but Freddy's room remains a stronghold. You can't get out of it without taking the Faz watch, and even then you still can't get out of it without going through the vent. And honestly, I expected to never do it, and it left my mind as I moved on to different things. But that wasn't the case for my community members Slipsy, Fact Attack, and the small team that they had with them. Remnants of Tomo team from when we did Jumpless. Where normally I had an idea and recruited people to help me, they tested, routed, and figured out item lists without me at all, and were kind enough to teach me what they'd learned. I was inside that bench and it freaked me out. That was so close. So she just loves being inside things, huh? <laughs> oh, dude, imagine if Spiff was shadow recording. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he is. <laughs> because after six months of updates, Freddy's room finally broke. Thanks to these Baz balls. Uh, yeah, I never make mistakes. Speaking of never making mistakes, I'm probably gonna make a lot of mistakes this run. In fact, I might have to redo the entire thing multiple times before I get it at all. Our inventory shoot, shoot, will be completely empty. Nothing will be picked up whatsoever. So step one is getting out of the room. Because I am never gonna pick up the fast watch. No screw- yeah, the screwdriver is an item. Look, chat. Anything that's gonna show up in Why here is, is not because... gonna get picked up. Let's get to work. <laughs> the blue ball, hey, yep. Freddy's blue balls. It's funny, there's two of them in here. It doesn't feel as good as the orange ball, though. The orange ball felt different. Why does it work? Because... Believers? <laughs> oh, shit, why. actually, <laughs> I fucked something up. It's already been two months. Uh, Happy to be a supporter. I might not end up at the right spot. <laughs> I just, I forgot we're supposed to reload as soon as we start. <laughs> ah, shit. No, I'm permanently falling. <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> So I had to reload right off the start Why to reset work? my spawn point okay. at Freddy. Basically, but what I have to fine. do is fall out of bounds, land back at Freddy, and walk to the next area. Chat, we'll do it another 15, no problem. Thanks to newly messed up physics, the Fazballs could push you through Freddy's walls. But by no means did that mean that item list would be a cakewalk afterwards. The most recent update for Security Breach put it in its least broken condition ever, where most major glitches you may be familiar with have been patched. And even if we could get out of Freddy's room itemless, we're talking zero security badges which get you through most doors, no screwdriver for the Monty or Roxy fight, no head for arcade, no cameras, which don't actually serve a purpose but are a requirement to proceed, and we can't even use lids for stuff, since we can't open any gifts. In order to succeed, this run had to break every single element of the game and in a new way, because the game kind of works now. I haven't done an ad in a while, but these people let me make ads how I want to. So now I present YouTuber Breeding Simulator. Monster Legends, a free-to-play mobile game available on all devices. You can make Pandolf breed with Greenosaur and get a monkey? <laughs> There's over 900 submissive and breedable monsters available, with more added every week. By gathering food, gold, and gems, you can tailor your island to your needs and reach higher levels. Look, they call it a Monstergram. That's more punny than me. Using super apples, relics, and runes, you can make your weak chimp become a Chad Firecom, and so many more. With your assortment of creatively named monsters, you can take on other players in battles, win trophies, and climb the league ranks, as well as join alliances and get access to exclusive events. YouTuber Island has become more interesting. They have Mr. Beast now, that was a shock. They have Tommy in it, too and others. If you download now with the QR code or link in the description, you get these volcano homies, as well as the fiery habitat that comes with them. I bet they could take on Mr. Beast. It 
so quiet in here. Like, there's no ambient sound in Freddy's room. But it really is, like, us, the fastballs, the sound of my keyboard, and the timer's red again. God damn it. Oh, no. My fastball. No! <laughs> Time to try the inferior blue fastballs. We are plowing through the fastballs. Let's try one more big push with the blue ball. Nah. I want to briefly talk about why the fastballs work now. If you were to buy and install Security Breach right now, they wouldn't. It only worked for people who had been playing since launch. Our best guess is that it has something to do with old saves meshing weirdly with the newest version and screwing with the physics. I'll describe this in greater detail in the description in case anyone wants to try this out for themselves. Please. Oh, I like I like I like how rambunctious this ball is. That's a good sign. Here's the thing. In a week, you guys will be asking me to come back to this room to push the ball more. Ah. Oh, the half clip. Sag, you doing a challenge? Nah, I'm just pushing the bowling ball. Having a chill stream today. Just figured I would, uh, push the bowling ball. They're still making a movie? Yeah, yeah, and it's, like, actually, it's, like, actually happening now. Also, holy shit, it's about a fucking time. Uh, yeah. Since I had reloaded the game, my safety spot for falling out of bounds was Freddy's room. But I would be placed back in there with everything unloaded. We did it, chat. Escaping Freddy's room <laughs> without the fast watch. So now, this door answers to me. This door is my bitch now. Even though I don't have the fast watch. So, time to set up for the next ball clip. You know our boy, the orange fast ball? We're taking it outside. Let's go. Let's bring the ball to the next location. Oh God, don't get stuck there. It will be a good ball now. Oh, I think this one's worse. <laughs> now I have to get through this wall because we have to get to the atrium. And unfortunately, Steel Wool has done an excellent Puberty. Steel Wool has done an excellent job of preventing that from happening in the modern security breach. So we're back to balls and walls, baby. Walls and balls and balls and walls. I may have already lost it. Ball, come back. Pretty cool. And so begins chapter two, chat. Oh yeah, yeah, weird. So chat, like so fucking weird. We, you remember what I told you about saving? So I saved over there, reloaded. For some reason I'm back in Freddy. The game started, but I have access to this door. So the game like kinda thinks I'm starting Hi, off. So it's, isn't it, like, so weird. Like, it's so weird. That's gonna happen every time we reload the game. Like, the things we've done around the world will have still made an impact. Get through the wall, ball. But we're gonna be inside of Freddy. Oh my god, hey Freddy, what you doing there? No, I can't look through the window. Damn, that's too bad. Be cool if I could activate Vanessa from this side. Oh, put me through, baby. Put me through. No. There haven't been any bowling ball names that I mesh with yet. Oh. Oh. How are you still? Oh, no. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Bolly B. Benson. I like Bolliver. 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 Because it's kind of a play on how believers rely on this ball today to get points. Oh! Oh! Hey! 
Okay. Don't fuck this up. Okay. I have to remember what I can and can't walk on. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. But if you mess this up, I'll cry. Uh, you know? I'll hold off on those tiers. There's plenty of other opportunities. Aya posted a tier list of his favorite FNAF games on Twitter yesterday. And I saw that Pizza Sim was like, was like low tier. So I was like, hey man, you know, Pizza Sim deserves more love. And he was like, yeah, you know, most of the game's pretty cool, but I don't like the office sections. And, and he's right, the office sections are pretty scuffed, but... It was just a reminder that other people don't fall in love with games the way that I do because they're scuffed. Being dumb is just so... Such an endearing video game quality to me. Is this glitchless? Oh yeah, this is glitchless. I'm not doing a single glitch. But also not picking up the like 15 mandatory items. No, this isn't glitchless. Guy, there's no chance you do itemless glitchless. Uh, Roxy's actually here. Hopefully, I don't die. Dying would be kind of cringe. Here's a fun fact, chat. You go in this thing, you get out of this thing, and you're out of bounds. Wow, look at that. Looky there. Wowie zowie. <laughs> I don't see any glitches. I, I haven't. You know, I have it like, I just got into a hiding spot and out of a hiding spot. That's completely normal gameplay. Okay. We're now gonna save on the opposite side of this. So this save station is gonna be kind of become our hub. It's gonna basically be our starting point for a couple different glitches we have to do. Now, unfortunately, chat, we have to reload in order to set our falling out of bounds point to this save station. When we reload, bad things happen. As in, we gotta, we gotta go back to Freddy's room. Sorry. Did you know that the base for Security Breach was come up with all the way back in 2015? Uh, I didn't know that, but uh, it sounds about right. Games take a while to be made. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, that's nice. For some reason, the game reloaded me in the correct spot, despite all of the tests reloading me in Freddy's room. But I'm not complaining, because it saves me from having to do all that again just to get back to this point. They say everybody gets their own custom version of Security Breach. Roxy's first. Okay. Next up is not 12am, chat. Cool. We're gonna go set up now at Roxy Raceway. For the map bot MVP moment. I see they fixed the lag. They fixed a lot of things, which is what makes this route so insanely impressive. No. Oh. I now have to go to so we're gonna kill Afton. I probably should mention that. The final goal is to kill Afton. That's the end of the route. And so we need to go set up to to teleport into Roxy Raceway. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go set up my teleport point, pretty much. If I jump into this rock, the world's going to deload, and I'll have a few seconds to run into Roxy Raceway and hopefully not get stuck on anything. We need more ball, Goodman. Nice. I beg that you bring him with you. <laughs> I, I, if reloading doesn't put me in Freddy's room that often, then we're actually not going to need the ball guy. I had no idea just how scalable this forklift was until now. Like, you really just run at this forklift from any angle and, and jump, and you get on top of it. It's very strange. Reset. This don't you need the head to be able to trigger the Afton cutscene? Apparently not, Liam. Apparently we only need 12 a.m. in this route. 
which I was also very confused about. Yeah, if you were here for backwards percent, you're about to experience more balloon pain. Uh, the big risk here is, of course, getting stuck in a fucking pallet. <laughs> Uh, if you remember getting stuck in the pallets, I'm so concerned. Please. Please. Yes. Oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So all we're doing in here is picking a stroller, chat. Pick a stroller. Pick your favorite stroller. Mid. Okay, you guys like the mid stroller. Nice. We got new first time chatters coming in to say mid. Perfect. Mid it is. And um, I believe I just followed a bounce down. That is the entire purpose for our visit to Roxy Raceway. Going inside of a single stroller. You will see why in a bit. This also has to do with MapBot. <laughs> MapBot's got connections, man. <laughs> why is this game? Yeah, true. Okay, I need to make sure I don't fall to bounds at a dumb spot. Just like right down there is gonna work. Sure, right down, lowest point. Good. We're back at taco time. Wait, why? I went into Roxy Raceway for the sole reason of getting in a hiding spot. I am now gonna go activate 12 p.m. Yeah. Time for some way too stressful traversing out of bounds. Past this point, any small mistake will result in having to completely restart um, everything. I'm not, I'm not super familiar with moving out of bounds here, so... I don't really know which walls are at risk of sucking me in, and I'm not really sure where, if I step on something wrong, it's gonna deload and make me fall through the world. <laughs> Fuck this, man. <sighs> Remember I said go slow here? I am going slow. We're gonna go a bit slower. Hey, wet floor sign. Wet floor signs staring at me like, holy shit, this man's broken the matrix. My biggest fear is that one of these walls can suck me back inbounds. That would suck. Why does it work? <laughs> now, if I'm not wrong, this is the part that is going to unload and I just have to... Yeah. Yeah, okay. I have to be very careful here. Good. Palms are sweaty. <laughs> this is gonna suck for both of us, but uh, you can just walk across this. Okay. The purpose here is to because trigger... Fuck you, that's why. 12 a.m. In order to do that, we have to get downstairs to the front door and activate 12 a.m. at the front door. The problem is if I unload, if I reload the game in the lobby, then I fail. I can't get out of the lobby. So I have to get into the wall near the front shoot, door. Shoot, Thanks for the contents. And Nick. activate it there so I can still go out of bounds. Good shit. Past this bench, the whole game's- or the- the whole area is gonna unload, which means I can walk into the lobby and activate 12 a.m. and walk back out. I have to do that, or else it's all over. Okay, I didn't go far enough in. Didn't activate 12. What the fuck was that deload, man? I don't like this flash deload that's going on. Oh, we got it. Okay, perfect. We got 12. I need to fall out of bounds properly now. 
Directly away from the front door. Okay. 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 Good. Right? Yes. Game? Please load. Okay. Time to go visit Mapbot. Mapbot is the key to all of this. Right now, chat, I need to get back to Roxy Raceway. Um, because I can go fight Afton at this point. But in order to do that, I would have to... Do that trick again where I unload the Roxy Raceway rock and I go through the area. The problem is since it's 12 p.m., if I went in there, it would turn to 2, 2 a.m., which would just... Yeah. Which would just ruin everything. So I need to get into Roxy Raceway without going in there. Now, if you remember, because I went into Roxy Kentucky, Raceway and I hid in a hiding spot. Now, for some reason, if you get seen by a map bot as you exit Freddy, he just warps you over... Oh shit. A little bit more forward, Freddy. He warps you? to the last spot that you hid in. Which, in our case, is the mid-stroller in Roxy Raceway. I had no idea that this was a thing. I have no, I, I, I can't even begin to imagine how that works. If you remember when the game first came out, they were like, Meh, Mapbot gave us a lot of issues. <laughs> Maybe that was it, you know? Maybe Mapbot was always knocking people Sweaty to their last right hiding spot. And like, this is the most recent patch. Um, I know originally people just thought that uh, Mapbot was yeeting you randomly, but turns out there is method to his madness. Your mapbot theory yep. is proving truer than satire now. Yep. Lol. Mapbot's got the keys to the Pizzaplex man. I'm not super confident about this part, but it's kind of forgiving. We might spend a little bit of time here. Can you tell me what the difference between Michael Afton and William Afton? Uh, they're step cousins. <laughs> they're father and son. Damn it. Close. So if you remember, this is the way to get onto the track that I figured out. That still works even after the patches, but we're not going to kill Roxy. All that we're interested in is her pipes. We got to use this shit to do some climbing. Ah. Oh my god. Shoot. That's okay. Just got to get back up. You don't get the flashlight here. Shit gets really dark. I might see what I can do about that here. Is it the opposite? Contrast low, gamma high? Okay. Retro game. <laughs> this looks fucking cool. Alright, well, enjoy. <laughs> God damn. Uh, I love it. The pipe still says requires item. Pipe percent is still a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, game. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, wee, whoa, wee, whoa. Maybe if we chill a little? Okay, there we go. Get a bit more color back in our life. But yeah, these jumps honestly... Honestly suck. These are hard. But, like I said, I should be able to try them over and over. I don't think if I fail any of them is it just, like, over. Oh, except the last one. It's all ogre if I fail the last one. Come on, man. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, I failed the last jump. Shit. Okay, but that's it. 
that I do that jump, we are golden. Gotta be like right on that ledge so you can get a bit momentum. There we go. Okay. 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 This is the the thing that decides if we're you know restarting back to that old save we made. Good. We're good. Interesting. Is that no? Too often. Zero items. I'm so afraid. I was, yeah, yeah, do not die to Endos. I could die to Endos, I could die to Freddy. We're gonna do, hey Freddy. We're gonna do little bitch Endo strats that I learned yesterday. So now these Endos activate, and yeah, they're alive. Except they only activate when you turn on their respective generators. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and you turn on all these generators and then go back. And turn on the others. Freddy is over in the corner of shame. Okay. I don't know why Freddy's running a marathon. Alright. Okay. Time to go. <sighs> why is Freddy clean? Because it's uh it's not six AM, it's it's twelve AM. I mess it up twelve AM and PM a lot. You know, we're gonna watch this. We're gonna watch this. It's your boy, Aftone. <laughs> Freddy finally took a fucking bath. Yeah, have you ever seen Freddy looking so good on the aft in cams? That's unique. So apparently Freddy has like zero battery. So we're gonna attempt to Fredor him without getting in, essentially. I really hope Roxy comes on this side. If she doesn't... If she comes on this side... Okay. That's a good Fredor. Jesus, that's scary. She's doing a lot of running. That was stressful. This is the scary, uh, it's not the scariest Afton fight I've ever done. It's one of the scariest Afton fights I've ever done. That's three. Wait. Oh God, I thought she fucking left already. God, I was gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Please, Spiff. Hey man, there's, there's not much more that I could do. I'm just kind of here. Speaking of just being here, Oh, there you are. Bro, do something. Holy shit. If only e-spam worked here. Yeah, this might be so lame if e-spam worked. He tries to suck Freddy once, just... <laughs> and then he's dead. She's gone. Please, Aftone. I hate the tentacles so much, chat. They're so cheap. They're so cheap, man. Oh god. Ah! Oh wait, I can scream at them. Freddy! No, I can't. <laughs> okay, but also they went away. I don't understand this game, chat. You can scream at them? Yeah, if you have Chica's music box. Which, you know, I don't have. Because I have zero items. This is weird. This is happening too fast. Afton, please! <laughs> please, man! Please. Please, dude. You're just standing there. Fucking do something with your life. First try. I thought I'd have to reset multiple times. Oh my god, because that route is just so insane. 
Thank you so much, Fact and Slipsy. You guys did an amazing job on the road. GG, Spiff. <gasps> you're awesome. <laughs> First Slipsy. try two. Wait, Slipsy two? Wait, you're supposed to be Slipsy zero. Did I VIP the right person? I hope I did. For the first time in eight months, that security breach has been out. We got able, we, we got out of Freddy's room. But that wasn't the end. An hour 15 is pretty damn slow. So now it was time to find out just how quick I could do this run. You should play security breach on Roblox. It's really good, I promise. Holy dicks. Oh my God, this is the run. Simply jump better. Oh shit! <laughs> Gregory tripped. <laughs> no. Hey, Chad, pick a stroller. <laughs> we went with the center one last time. Hmm. First one I see. Left. So, you know, to be fair, I do do. I do do something like that. Oh my god, I can't see. Fuck! It's gonna load. Oh, okay, I didn't fuck it up. Oh, jeez. Watch this. Meow. <laughs> My heart rate. Sorry, beep up. Did I fuck up? I think, I think we're doomed. I think this is it. I think I made that thing that I was talking about a mistake. <laughs> you are boner round. Ah, crap. And yeah, there's not really any coming back from a mistake like this in this run. YouTube comments are interesting. I need to regen some stamina, woman, please. When is he gonna, like, <laughs> pretend to scream again? I can't get in Freddy's zap. I'm completely cut off for some reason. He doesn't open up. Huh? Why isn't Afton doing burning things? Is the fight fucking broken? Like, this is not good. Nobody is doing things. Hello? We have a job to do here. All right, time, 37.57. Cool, <laughs> I have no idea why that works. Freddy was chilling. Cooperate, Fazball. Bolivar. I haven't played Detroit, but I've watched enough videos of it to, to have pretty much everything spoiled. 28. <laughs> we had some good times playing Poppy Chapter 2, holy shit. Did I see the Chapter 3 teaser? Yeah, but it's like, like, teaser is a strong word for what that was. They showed a gas mask. That's literally it. Guess I've been teased, but like, I don't know. But yeah, it's not much of substance. Showed a gas mask and got every theory maker quaking. Uh, yeah, I have no theories based on the gas mask. I don't know. Like, they could do anything. All right, here's my theory. They are teaming up with TF2. And Pyro from TF2 is going to be the the new enemy. Yeah, I just saw somebody in chat say that. Mr. Yswag69 agrees with me. Pyro from TF2 joins the team. No! Ah, <laughs> uh, that was a good time save, but then I fell off. No! All right, we just got to go, 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 go. Eh? 12 a.m. Go! Okay, this is going okay. I don't know. I don't know what we're looking at for time. I'm not sure about sub 30, but PB-able for sure. Just the thing about the Afton fight is I can't do it any faster, right? <laughs> Can you do it slower? You know, I don't think I have to. Not believer. There's a fly on my screen. No! Get, get off. I'm trying to focus. How'd you even get up here? 
My house is so tall. Believers, I have given you the absolute best chance you have. That was insanely fast. The fly is on my face. The fly's a non-believer. Holy shit. <laughs> fly uses distract. I will do this as fast as possible. I don't know what the hell Roxy's doing, but as long as she doesn't come in the other side, we should be okay. Dude, Fred, uh, Roxy's drunk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's probably got a fly on her nose, you're right. <laughs> what the fuck, Roxy? Roxy snorted the ramen powder. Come on, Spiff, you got this? Yeah, I do. I'm just standing here. Alright, this might be the last burn. There might be one burn left. <laughs> Come on, bro! <laughs> but there also might be two burns. But for the sake of drama, let's assume there's one. 15 seconds, dude. You gotta burn this one. Just turn around, slap your hand on that shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. No, he's moving! Oh. <laughs> and it was the second last one anyway. <laughs> Ten seconds late and not even the last one. Fly lead us. Still around here somewhere. 32 minutes was my best time that day. But I've improved it to 31, and in the coming week, I'm definitely gonna get that sub 30. Because it's a pretty sick run, and I'm still so shocked that we got it to work in the first place. Thanks again to Monster Legends for sponsoring the video. Download now to claim those fiery rewards. Link in the description. More good stuff coming. See you later.